Well, they call Old Trafford the theatre of dreams and you can see why when you look around. It's a fantastic arena for Premier League football, but unfortunately for Everton, it's been something of a theatre of nightmares. Not since the first season of the Barclays Premier League have Everton registered a win here at Old Trafford, but there are a plethora of talking points tonight. Wayne Rooney, well, he's old hat, isn't he? Really compared to Marouane Fellaini and David Moyes and a few of the Manchester United staff. Much to look forward to then. And I'm joined by Ronnie Goodless here at Old Trafford. And uh, anything could happen tonight, Ronnie? I, I really fancy us, Dan. I think uh, you've mentioned a long time ago where um, we used to win regularly, you know, in, in the 70s and 80s, but obviously recently not, not the best of times. I was actually here when we beat them 3 0, but I think it's the best chance we, we, we really have got. I think Roberto Martinez has come in. We know about Moisey, a lot of comments about him, and sometimes when we came in, I, I just thought it was a little bit negative, but I think under Roberto, I think we'll come here positive. We're in great form. We've got a threat up front. You've got Lukaku, you know, with Morales plays tonight in really good form. I think the back four have done excellent. Tim Howard's back to his best. So, you know, for me, there's no fear. Uh, you know, as long as we go out and have a go, I think Evertoners will appreciate that. But I think down the years as well, we, we've never had any luck here. I, I just hope it goes our way. Uh, whether Maraman Fellaini ever plays, I'm not worried about Manchester United. I'm just worried about ourselves. Can we keep the form that we've got? I thought we did ever so well against Stoke, playing a brand of football that Evertonians want to watch. Uh, we've got a good result, 4-0, clean sheets. Why should we come here with fear? So hopefully tonight we will get the luck, which we, I don't think we have uh, recently anyway. And I'm really you know, looking forward to it and I'm, and I'm confident we'll get a result. It's going to be very interesting, isn't it, to see what team Roberto Martinez selects tonight because Ross Barkley and Kevin Morales were both left on the substitutes bench against Stoke City. There's such competition, isn't there? Well, I think that's what we've maybe lacked down the years in depth, but I think you can't say that anymore. We've, we've got attackers, you know, defenders. Everyone doesn't know whether they're going to be in the side the next week, and managers love that. You know, there's a competition for, for places, and whether it's Ross Barkley, you know, Morales sitting on the bench, or Leon Osman, or Delafeo, or whoever, they know that if they get the chance you've got to take it if you come on a sub you've got to try and perform straight away and that's all the manager can ask for and I think the way we're going now we you know we're on another run you know other, other beat run we know we've got the next two games are going to be hard for anybody at any stage of the season but I just think again if we can rise to it and come here I, I just think again we, we've got a really good chance and the best chance for years we, we really have of winning and Man United will know they've been in a game I mean it's okay saying about us coming here maybe a little bit apprehensive and what's going on that Man United dressing room will be saying the same this fella Lukaku Morales you know what a good uh, defensive side they've got and Jagielka Distan and although Baines will be out Oviedo will come in and, and uh, you know I, I think if, if, you, if you said it was Baines too uh, nobody would have said anything difference scored a fabulous goal later on and, and I thought he did ever so well so I think we'll come here a lot of confidence but Man United will have to worry about us as well well let's hope so and maybe finally Old Trafford can once again for Evertonians become the theatre of dreams